Knit balls. Here we go again. You've seen the knit balls. Let's see what happens. They're meowing now. Let's turn on some lights first. Wonder what's going to happen now. Kitty cat there. Kitty cat there. Here are the knit balls. Miss Cinder, I've got your knit balls. Monster, there's one over there. Look at Miss Cinder go. Watch her do her thing. She loves those things. Monster always thinks it's time to eat. You don't want that ball, Miss Cinders? Get that ball, Miss Cinders. Get it. Get it, girl. Get the other one. Get it. <laughs> I told you guys, they're back on the nip. There's no stopping them. They're addicted to the nip. They can't help themselves. They relapsed. They need help. How do you get your cats off nip? What do you do? She's going to come over and take his nip. When you take somebody else's nip, the relapse syndrome. He's playing with a nip. I knew it. Here, I thought he was going to be the one to get off the nip. He just wanted me to think he was off the nip. Monster, are you on the nip? And Cinder goes in for the nip kill. Yeah, buddy. Just when you thought it was safe to have nip in your house. It's not safe to have nip in your house. Look at him. Just look at him. Cinder, what are you doing? She's bringing her nip back. Batting it around. Well, folks, there you have it. The nip is back in town. Monsters coddling his. Miss Cinders is beating hers down. There's a high going on in this house. I'm high on the Lord, and they're high on the nip. Looks like they're taking a break. Well, it's time to call it quits now. But remember, if you don't keep your cats off nip, who will?